guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. If you are new here, welcome. I do upload every other day, so I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I do hope that you check out some of my other ColourPop videos as well. I pretty much have a playlist for all the big brands that I reoccurringly buy from, so I would totally recommend checking out some of those older videos. Anyway, if you haven't already guessed from the title, we are talking about ColourPop today. This package just arrived in the mail, so of course I wanted to sit down and film a quick swatch party video for you guys. Also, really quick, I do want to say a huge thank you. I just hit 8,000 subscribers on my channel. The goal for the year 2018 is going to be to double that, so we are going to go ahead and try for 2,000 subscribers, you guys. So I couldn't be more excited for my YouTube journey. I've been doing this for quite some time now, and it is so fun to see you guys come back each week. I definitely recognize some of the usernames on my comment section. So just a huge thank you. I'm always so, so humbled and so, so grateful that you guys keep coming back to my channel. Anyway, without further blabbering, let's swatch some makeup. Now, I feel like ColourPop is gonna kill it again for 2018. They already launched two palettes, a face palette and an eyeshadow palette, that's what I picked up. They also did do a fun line of Super Shock shadows. They did like a colorful launch at the beginning of the year. I didn't really buy anything from that launch. I did pick up one Super Shock shade. I have so many Super Shock eyeshadows, guys, that I keep telling myself I need to stop buying them, but this color was so, so cute that I bought it. And this is the shade Twitter Padded. Twitter Padded. Twitter Padded. I don't know. Looking at it in the packaging, it's like the same shade as my nail polish, so clearly I have a thing for pinky gold shades, but I was watching so many like swatches on Instagram and stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, if I buy one shade, I need it to be Twitter Padded, and yeah, it's literally the exact shade as my nail polish. It's like a pink base with a bunch of gold glitter. It's not very opaque though, so this might be a really cute like topper shade but I don't know it's super super pretty so I picked up one so I feel like I did pretty good like I didn't go crazy and buy like every single shade but I just added that on to my order because I was buying these palettes from Colourpop so I'm sure you guys have already seen these a million times but they came out with a new face palette called In New In Nude Indo but it's Inuendo In Nude Eden. <laughs> this is going to turn into a real freaking tongue twister for everyone, but I love the packaging. I did pick up ColourPop's first face palette. This is the Gimme More palette, and this is Pressed Powder Highlighters. These are beautiful. A lot of people said this was a dupe for the Nicole Guerrero palette, and now I feel like they're saying the same thing about this guy. I wish I used this palette more, but I really don't use it enough, so I had pulled it out to kind of use this week, but then I ended up getting in nude indo so now i feel like i'm going to use this one but i just wanted to show you guys that i do have the original i might end up selling it on my poshmark i'm not sure yet but i do love this packaging of course everyone is a sucker for some pink and some gold so let's go ahead and open this guy up here is what the inside of the palette looks like these shades all kind of look very similar they're all very like champagne and gold tones and I feel like there's a little bit of everything for our most skin tones in here, so that's kind of nice. I feel like somebody touched this already because there is a scratch on here, and I don't think I just scratched it, so that's kind of strange. And there's no plastic cover on it, which is usually what I'm used to seeing, but honestly, I'm not really too worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these highlighters. They're so soft and buttery. Did I need another highlighting palette? Probably not, but ColourPop is so freaking affordable, I literally could not say no to these. So the first three shades, and they put the names on there now, we have Glad You Came, On The Loose, and Finish Line. So, so pretty. I'm going to review this palette and the eyeshadow palette for you guys once I test it out. I'm going to be wearing these palettes all week long. If you don't have me on Instagram, I would suggest adding me because when I test palettes, 
I usually post the looks I create on Instagram so you can see what I come up with and I think this highlighter palette is just going to be so banging on my skin tone. So the next three shades are On Tempo, Morning After, and Losing Sleep. Sounds like such a party girl palette, you guys. Um, I'm going to put some on. Let me grab a highlighting brush quick here. This is just a Real Techniques brush. I'm going to go into this Losing Sleep shade. And just, I do have highlighter on, but... Girl, you can never have too much highlighter, right? That's not true. That's that's a really bad lie that we tell ourselves to justify all the makeup we buy. I do not have a mirror in front of me, so I should probably do something about that. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. I was doing a very subtle job. I'm actually wearing this yellow highlight from this palette, but I figured I could add a little more. I really like this color. Oh my god. Sometimes I look at some of my older videos, like in my apartment, when I first started filming more consistently on YouTube, and I'm glowing so hard. I'm like, what the fuck was I doing with my lighting? I literally look like I took a bath in like an oil slick. So this is very pretty. Oh my gosh. And it's so affordable. I'm just going to put some setting spray on quick help my skin soak all of that up. So what do you guys think? I believe this palette is 18 bucks, and I don't think the ColourPop palettes sell out anymore like they used to. I feel like they do a really good job of stocking them, but here are the highlighting shades, and now I'm going to switch gears and swatch the eyeshadow palette for you guys next. Okay guys, so here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's called Give It To Me Straight, and the packaging is super cute. It's like a pinky packaging. There's like an ombre. It might be hard for you guys to see. This is what all the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes look like. I love the size of these. I recently just went traveling and I took the double entendre palette and the I Think I Love You palette. And that was just amazing. Just neutral looks all day long. This one is very, very pretty. It has some neutral shades and burgundy shades. So if you guys collect ColourPop palettes, I know I asked myself like if this was similar to any of their original or palettes that they've already released. So here is the You Had Me At Hello palette and the Give It To Me Straight palette. Very similar shades, but this one doesn't have any burgundies. It's more mauves. So here is a quick side-by-side -side comparison in case you guys were curious. I was also curious to know if this one was similar to the Femme Rosa palette, but I still feel like the color stories are different enough where you could purchase both and you'd be fine. The other palette I was wondering if this one was similar to was the palette, I need to pan this palette, um, is the Modern Renaissance palette because this has a lot of burgundy shades in it and I don't think I see anything exactly the same in the burgundy lineup but some of those champagne shades are definitely very close so yeah the Modern Renaissance palette I've had for a while and it's definitely beat up but I need to give it more love so many people love that palette I'm actually thinking of starting up a series and I know a lot of people do it called like a flashback Friday or something where every week I feature a palette from like back in the day, just like an eye look or something, but it's hard, it's hard to have like a reoccurring weekly series because sometimes I film so far in advance, it's hard for me to like time things, but that's what we're gonna work on in 2018. Anyway, this is the first palette that ColourPop released with the names underneath the eyeshadows, which is great because I always got them mixed up, so on the first shade we have like a really beautiful matte pink shade called Matter of Fact. We have a beautiful shimmer shade called Up Front. Then we have a beautiful gold called Straight Up. And then BS is like my go-to like terracotta shades because I love those and can't get enough. Now, I think the ColourPop Pressed Shadow Formula 
is the most amazing for the price and honestly even if they charge more for these palettes i would pay it i probably wouldn't buy all of them because if they were like 40 bucks like i honestly probably couldn't afford to buy them as frequently as they launched them but with the price that they are i can afford to buy these like in my monthly basis not a semi-weekly that will be two palettes a week on a semi uh, monthly basis because they're just so affordable and they're so worth having like i said when i travel i just travel with these palettes because they're so small and they typically have everything you need so this is the next row we have frank we have candid we have fortbright and we have downright super duper beautiful oh my gosh i cannot wait to play with this palette how gorgeous Okay, so now on to the last row, which have the darker shades. Here are the shades, wash on my fingers. So the first shade is Truth Hurts, then we have Be Blunt, which is like a gorgeous burgundy shimmer shade. We have TMI, which is a beautiful burgundy matte, and then Actually, which is a smoky brown. I feel like you definitely need all of these colors to work any eyeshadow palette because you need some smoky shades to create like a deepened up crease every once in a while so oh my god these are so freaking stunning i'm so excited for this palette it's definitely going to be getting tested out this week and i will have a review for you guys asap because i'm obsessed i'm obsessed what can i say here are the swatches of the new highlighting palette from ColourPop, and then this is the eyeshadow palette. So take a good look. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you guys know I will have a review up on this palette and the highlighting palette as soon as my pretty little eyeballs can test them out and as soon as I wear the colors on my face so I can give you an actual solid opinion on if you should buy this palette. If you already picked it up, let me know your thoughts and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.